Good morning, friends, and welcome to day one of exploring multiplication as a comparison. Now, today we're going to be drawing a lot of pictures to help us show our work, but as the week goes on, we're going to be coming up with other ways to think about multiplication. So, we're going to be doing pages 109 and 110 together today, so 109 and 110, and then on your own, you're going to be doing page 112 where then you can either show me on the Google Meet or on Seesaw. So right now we are getting started on page 109. So we can think about multiplication as joining equal groups. And we're going to really focus on this idea today of joining equal groups. So for part A, it says to draw three groups of five stars. So they already gave us the groups for us. They gave us our boxes. So we just need to draw five stars in each group because we need three groups of five stars and it's okay if they're not perfect we know i am not an artist so okay so now we have three groups of five and many of you from last year would remember that if we have a picture like this it's easy to make a multiplication sentence we just pull out the number of groups we have so in this case we have three and we have five in each group so that means three times five. And if we want to skip count, we can say five, 10, 15, or you could do counting on whatever strategy is best for you. Or if you know it and you have this fact memorized, you know it is 15, okay? So we drew three groups of five, like you told us, and then this is the multiplication equation to match our picture and show how many total number of stars we have in this problem. So this is one way to think about multiplication, drawing a picture like this. Now, you can also think about it as a way to compare two numbers. So I'm going to put a box around here because this is idea number one. This is idea number two, okay? So we're going to draw a group of five stars in the box on the left and draw three times as many stars in the boxes on the right. So to start off, we're going to draw five stars here. So we have one, two, three four, five. So this is where our five stars are going to be. But we need three times as many on this side. So that just means we're going to draw what we drew here three times. So we're going to do this is our one time. This is our two times as many. And then this is our three times as many. So now we have five here, and then this is three times as many of our original five. So using this picture to help us answer the question, we have blank is three times as many as five. And we know that our original answer was 15, and that we have 15 stars in this picture. So 15 is three times as many as five. One time we have five, but if we want something three times as big as that, we have to draw this picture three times. And if you want, you can even go and count. We have five, 10, 15. So 15 is three times as many as five. And then to make that into a multiplication sentence, it's the same one as up here, just it's flip flop. So we have 15 is equal to five times three. This is one time, this is three times, okay? So five times three gives us 15. Now, this is tricky, so if you have any questions on this idea, please join the, please pause the video and join the Google Meet so we can go over it together, okay? This does get tricky, and I know it can be confusing with all the pictures, so make sure you are asking if you have any questions at all. But if you're ready to move on, we can turn to page 110, and we are going to be drawing more pictures. So, 3A says, when you multiply the order, it does not matter, and we know that from last year. 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3. Your answer or your product is still going to be 15. So we're going to do the same exact thing as we did on the previous page, but we're going to do it the other way around. So for this one, we're going to draw a group of 3 stars in the first box and then draw 5 times as many stars in the boxes to the right. So this one is going to have 3. And that's what we're starting off with. And then this one is going to have 5 times as many. So that means we're going to draw these three stars five times. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 
King, three, one, King, three, one, King, three. So now we have three stars, and then we have five times as many of those three stars here. So now it's the same idea again, because the order of the factors does not matter. So again, we have 15, because that's our total number of stars, is five times as many as three. So you could say 15 is three times as many as three, or you could say 15 is five times as many as three, or the other way around. I think I just said the same thing twice. Miss Dion's tired. <laughs> so our multiplication sentence is gonna be similar. So we're gonna have 15 is equal to three times five. It's just flip-flopped, but we know that this still gives us the same answer. The order of multiplication does not matter like it does with subtraction. So. This was the same exact idea, we just flip-flopped the idea. So now instead of five times, instead of three times, we had five times. So that's just the switch we had there. You can also show multiplicative comparisons. I know that word sounds super duper scary, but it's just basically what we did up here. So you can also show multiplicative comparisons as connected bars in a model. Complete the descriptions and equations for each model. So if we look at A, we have five stars here, right? So if we have five stars here and then from the bottom we have one, one, two, three groups, that means that three times as many as five, right? Because we started off with one group of five and now we have three groups of five. So three times as many is this. So we have, instead of just five, now we have three times as many. So then we know that 15, which is the total we have here, 5, 10, 15, is 3 times as many as 5. So it's the same idea, just showing it in a different model. And then again, we can just keep the same multiplication sentence. 15 is equal to 3 times 5. So once again, friends, if you have any questions at all during any of this, please pause the video and come ask. I know these pictures can get confusing, and it's just really important that you slow down and take your time. So this one had it five stars. Now we have three stars five times. We have one, two, three, four, five groups. So this means three stars five times as many. See how it's flip-flopping? So now we know that still 15, because we still have three, six, nine, 12, 15 stars is five times as many as three. So 15 times five equals five times three, sorry. So 15 is equal to five times three. So basically all you're supposed to get out of these four problems is that one, order doesn't matter in multiplication, and two, there's multiple ways to compare numbers and show it with pictures in multiplication. As we can see, friends, we have a picture here and a picture here, and we still get three times five is equal to 15. And then we have two different pictures here, actually three, and we still have three times five is 15. Three times five is 15. Five times three is 15. So this is just to show you there's multiple ways to go about solving these types of problems and multiple ways to create models to help us. So what I want you to do is join the meet and tell me, surprise, surprise, right? how finding three times as many as five is different from finding three more than five. So this is times, this is more. So why is three times as many as five different than finding three more than five? Why is times different than more? I want you to join the meet and tell me, and I wanna hear your thinking, okay? And then that is it for our video today. Super duper easy today. And then once you talk to me about number five, you can start page 112 on your own and then show me when you're done. Happy math.